everybody, Sean Tubbs here. Thanks for tuning in. This is the Sir Badger 18. Now this is an 18 watt EL84 uh, powered amplifier. Um, it's actually a part of three Badger series amps. You can get an 18 watt uh, version of this, which as I said is the uh, 84, EL84 powered amp. You can get the 35 watt version of this, which is uh, basically the same amp, but it's got four EL84s. And then you can uh, also get uh, the Badger 30, which is a 30 watt. Now that's an EL34 uh, powered amplifier. It just depends on what you want. This one, as I mentioned, is the, uh, the 18 watt uh, EL84 uh, powered amp. Um, it's, it's very responsive, uh, very tactile. Um, it's got a really wide uh, dynamic range and, and we're gonna get into uh, all of that. Um, the controls across the front are really uh, straight ahead. You've got gain, treble, middle, bass, drive, and power. Now we'll get into uh, the drive and, and power settings in just a second because that's part of uh, a thing that John's uh, come up with called power scaling and, and I'll dig into that in just a moment. The uh, bass, mid, and treble are actually post gain controls and they're basically uh, cut controls. So, you know, with an amp like this, you always kind of want to start at around 5 or 12 o'clock and then make your adjustments uh, from there. It also has uh, a MOSFET uh, boost, which is a cascaded uh, gain boost. Uh, so it's basically a full voltage uh, MOSFET uh, gain that you're adding to the front of the front end of the amplifier and it's also a uh, foot switchable and once again it just broadens the complete dynamic range and, and the tactile kind of responsiveness of uh, this amp. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these controls straight up and just kind of show you how I would arrive at a sound with this uh, amplifier and then we'll go from there. So right now I'm on kind of a neck position uh, Stratocaster. <laughs> And that already sounds great, but for me, I would want a little bit more top end. So we'll roll the treb up a bit. So that's really sweet. And, you know, for me, what I would do is back off the bass just to bring some clarity into it. And that's how quick you can dial it in. Now, you know, I can go ahead and roll these guys all the way one way and then the other. So Treb's all the way over. Here's the Treb off. And I really like that Treb circuit on the mic because it never got uh, super harsh or toothy. Um, it just stayed really sweet. And then the mid, I really like on this because it's a warmer mid. So as you start cranking it, especially on like a humbucker, it gets fatter. And it also adds a little bit of gain as you, uh, as you boost it up. Now we can go all the way the other way so you can hear that. And that was killer for dialing in uh, solo tones especially and I, I kind of liked it around you know I guess the six mark there and then bass wise the bass can get huge now I'm using a, a Sir 1x12 cabinet uh, with a, uh, a VET 30 speaker by a warehouse speakers it's a 60 watt speaker and it pairs really really nicely with this and it's a pretty big sounding cabinet nice thing with the bass on this amp is it, it it's pretty uh, it's pretty big uh, but stays really controllable. So right now, as I said, I liked it backed off on that cabinet just for clarity, but you can get a bunch of low end if needed. Uh, you know, say your favorite cab is an open back cabinet or it's a, you know, four by 10 cabinet or, or whatever that may be. You've got plenty of room to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, get your tone dialed in uh, with that bass setting. Okay, let's get into, before I even touch the uh, the MOSFET boost, let's just check out the gain. Like right now I've got it, so it's pretty clean on like a neck position strap pickup. If I hit it with a back humbucker, it's gonna break up pretty nicely. Now we can start turning that up. Yeah. 
And so now you've got more gain, but it's still pretty, like the, just the tactile responsiveness without even touching the volume control on your guitar. <laughs> Still really sweet and responsive uh, and, and cleans up nicely without even backing off a of volume. And we can keep cranking it up. So it just sounds great. Now keep in mind, you know, this is an 18 watt amp, but this guy can get really loud and that's where the, uh, the power scaling can come into play. Now, this, uh, the power itself, well, let's look at the, the drive first. The drive, you can basically, in the simplest of terms, consider that the master volume for the amplifier. The power control is basically cutting voltage uh, to the power section of the amplifier. And as you cut voltage, you're also gonna cut wattage and what this is allowing for is to kind of always uh, give you that amp kind of on 10 uh, feel and response but at lower uh, volume levels so uh, just to show you really quick I'm gonna leave the gain where it's at and without even touching the power you know the first thing you're gonna want to do well let's let's use a little more gain the first thing you're gonna want to do if you need to turn the amp down is turn it down via the the drive <laughs> Now this, this is a really good master volume control, so we can turn it down quite a bit. And that's great, but we don't quite have that response and dynamic range uh, that we had, and especially the compressed kind of feel of the amp being wide open. And that's where you can start using the power control. So what I'll do is I'll back off the power control pretty much in parallel to the drive. So now I'm at a lower volume, but the amp feels exactly the same as when it was uh, full tilt. And that's, that's why this thing is great, because it really kind of gives you that, that compressed feel at really low volumes. And we can back it off even more without touching the drive. And the amp gets even more kind of compressed and, and, and just wide open sounding but at this really low uh, volume and of course we can we can get this down to you know next to nothing so it's a really great control um, and and is very very usable uh, in in pretty much any regard on this amplifier um, now, just real quick, let's get into this, uh, the FET boost. I'll kind of dial this amp a little bit uh, kind of cleaner, kind of where I started. And I'll just hit the switch. Now, keep in mind, this is foot switchable, which is awesome. So check it out now. you've essentially got kind of a two-channel amplifier or a cascading amp uh, just by being able to foot switch that in and out. It really sounds great. And I really dug it, especially when I, you know, would crank a little bit more mid and maybe back off the treble a little bit. It was fabulous to solo that way. And of course you're loving these settings and it's a little too loud. Well, once again, you can start kind of backing things off. And like I said, I like to do this in parallel the drive and power. So now that's incredibly usable and still sounds uh, 
fabulous, even at that really low level. So that's pretty much the, the dynamic range of this amplifier. Um, one thing I will show you really quick is that the effects loop is fabulous on it. Um, I've had uh, my Strymon timeline uh, in the loop this whole time. It's totally transparent. It's a tube uh, buffered uh, series loop. So just to let you hear it real quick, I'll just turn on a delay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the effects loop worked great. I literally just plugged it in, didn't hear any sonic difference whatsoever, and just turned it on, you know, turned on the Strymon timeline, and it sounded great. So that is the Sir Badger 18. For further questions, uh, go to the website. And as always, I really appreciate you guys tuning in, and I'll have another video for you soon.